Hi all guys, here is another video review from ExtremeHardware.com. Today we're looking at the Silverstone Precision Series PS09, which is an interesting model because it has a lot of interesting features. For example, a foam padded side panel for noise absorption to the left, to the right part, and to the left part. Uh, it has a quick access filter to prevent this dust build up. It has a side intake vents to minimize noise. Uh, it has a motherboard backplate opening for quick CPU cooler assembly, which we will examine later. It, uh, it supports four expansion slots, uh, cards up to uh, 4.1 inches uh, long. For example, we have installed uh, GTX NVIDIA GTX 480 card, but we will see later. Uh, it has an all-black uh, painting inside also, with a stylish look, and uh, it has an ugly, uh, flexible drive storage options, as we can see later. So, it's an interesting model, also because it, it's a cheap one. So, <clears throat> now... I will read a presentation and introduction from Silverstone. The new Precision Series PS09 was created with the goal of exceeding user experience and expectation for affordable, silent PC chassis by offering a wide range of features and completed off with a great build quality. A full array of features like foam padded side panel, side intake vents, USB 3.0 as you can see we find two USB frontly 3.0 removable fan filter or all black painted interior and CPU backplate cutout are all standard in this grid chassis the top mounted power supply which you can see here because it's uh, we have uh, installed the system to show you on the whole thing uh, the top mounted power supply allows for easier installation and the cleverly designed interior allows up to 4 3.5 inches HDD and 1 2.5 inches HDD um, and up to uh, 4 14.1 inches long graphic card to be installed for those requiring a quality enclosure with great styling, silence and flexibility the PS09 is an excellent choice so this, um, uh, this is the PS09 what about the sp main spe specification at first uh, we need to um, uh, the the model number it's uh, SST PS09B the material it's a uh, high strength plastic panel for example in the frontal part but also a steel body for example the side panels the uh, top part the in the in the bottom part and the other side panel um, what about the uh, motherboard compatibility? Well, let's check directly in the inside. <coughs> you need to pull out the side panel, which it has uh, installed um, nose absorption system as you can see here so um, let me want you to see this unit better okay we got it so about the compatibility we can uh, install a micro ATX and a mini ITX board uh, right now we have used an ASUS um, uh, Z77i um, Deluxe, which is a very nice and powerful motherboard. It has um, a Core i5 to, uh, to, um, uh, which is a 25k CPU, 
um, okay, two, uh, 2050k, sorry, and uh, in the, with this motherboard uh, you can overclock the CPU up to 4.5 GHz, which is impressive, because it's a uh, um, mini ITX board, so uh, we have just uh, assembled uh, the system, which has a NVIDIA GTX 480, and uh, Silverstone 600 watt, Watts Strider Plus uh, uh, PSU, which has an 80 plus silver certification, and which is a very nice and interesting model, also because it's totally uh, modular. It has um, a lot of um, interesting features. Anyway, what about the cabinet? We can find that frontally uh, we've got a pre-installed 120mm fan, but we can also install an 80mm fan. And this is just the, the only fan that you can find uh, installed. Also because um, in, the, uh, in the back part we can find uh, the, um, the, the, the holes, the pre-drilled holes, for a 92 or an 80 millimeters fan. Um, so um, this is it. It's um, a very cheap um, chassis, but it's um, a quality one. And um, what about uh, the limitation in of the CPU cooler? We can install a CPU cooler tall. At maximum 140, um, 140 millimeters. So uh, this is just uh, this is not so much because, uh, for example, you won't be able to install uh, classic CPU coolers. For example, the Thermal Right um, True Spirit 120. Uh, which is a very nice unit, um, or many other, um, for example, from Silverstone. But uh, you need to to understand that uh, this is just um, a micro ITX case, so we have a lot of um, limitations about the dimensions. But um, so it's compatible with uh, very long cards, but. Unfortunately, as you can see, here is a GTX 480. Uh, the con the power connectors uh, are mm, a bit uh, in a not placement because uh, we should have uh, um, got uh, an uh, an open um, an opening here because uh, uh, it's very difficult to insert uh, such connectors here. So if you um, have got uh, um, a VGA with the horizontal connectors, uh, you will have some difficulties, some difficulty to uh, install them here. Anyway, uh, it's totally compatible with a GTX 480, but uh, be sure to check the dimensions. Um, about the compatibility for the PS PSU, we haven't got uh, any problem because uh, we have got uh, plenty of space, and um, so they they just show uh, one per optional standard PS2, which is an ATX one. So um, this is it. Anyway, <coughs> okay. Uh, we can install a lot of uh, HDD. Um, for example, um, as you can see, um, we have got a lot of uh, pre drilled holes. But um, what about 2.5 inches SDDs or HDDs? We have got just uh, one single pre installation. Um, predisposition in the uh, bottom part of the cabinet. This is not so much, but um, we've got just one. Um, anyway, you need to install the SSD from the bottom, which is not a very good solution, but that's it. Okay, what about uh, the um, 
the right part of the cabinet which is the uh, back uh, um, uh, the, the back fundamentally um, due uh, to um, dimensions um, complications we can find we we have seen that uh, the um, uh, we could have a problem regarding the uh, the um, cable uh, management because uh, as you can see <coughs> It's very tight. As you can see here, we need to we need to make some force also because this is the these markings are one that you will find when you cable the, the system in it. We have tried to make a, a good work, a good use of the, the space limitations, but as you can see, um, the <coughs> we haven't got many many space to many many centimeters to operate. For instance. We got just uh, should be something like <coughs> zero dot seven centimeters, which is um, a very um, very low limit. In the central part, instead, we've got uh, almost four dot five. Uh, centimeters which is a very nice uh, um, space so you can route all the cables for the PSU um, so in short um, this is a compact uh, design a compact compact case but it has uh, some interesting features for example here you can see the motherboard cat tray for the installation of uh, um, um, cool aftermarket coolers with um, backplate and this is interesting anyway we have made a little mod on this um, uh, in this system because we have installed um, Silverstone LS01 um, LED, which is a blue LED. As you can see, we have just installed and cabled the uh, this LED. So this is the result result that it's possible to obtain. need to start the system here anyway this is um, you need to purchase this LED separately you won't find in uh, in the system but but it's a nice uh, way to enhance the visual of your cabinet also because uh, uh, this model it has uh, blue status LEDs frontally and uh, installing such LEDs LEDs you will surely enhance the the case okay switch off this is so a nice unit but what about um, the power supply Okay, as we said, we have installed a 600 watts Strider Plus, which is this one. Fully modular, 80 plus silver, 
and a very compact unit. But we have got some other interesting units from Silverstone that you can use with uh, uh, SFX cases. For example, we're talking about the SFX series 450 watts, the ST. Uh, 45SFG, which is a very compact and very nice and powerful unit. It has been capable to power on a system with a GTX 480 overclocked and overvolted. So uh, it's a simply wonderful. And it's very compact, um, fully modular. It has a lot of protections, and in, and uh, it's also a silent unit. And it has an 80 plus gold certification. Um, the Silverstone PSUs are um, very nice units. So um, um, we are showing you today in preview. Another very interesting uh, PSU um, from the Strider family, which is the new Strider Gold S series, which has an 80 plus gold certification and uh, it has also a 750 watts, but not peak because peak power is 80 hundred watts. The model number is the SST-ST75FGS and this is too very interesting because it's also a very compact unit as you can see what about the dimensions completely modular we will review this unit very soon. So, in short, <coughs> this is just a video preview of the Silverstone PS09 cabinet and some PSU from the Silverstone producer. Uh, we will analyze very soon some other products. For example, <coughs> the following ones who knows this cooler TD02 well we will eviscerate <laughs> this uh, cooler but also this fan that some of you might know which is an air penetrator AP100 one uh, 182 but also other two fans which is the AP141 air penetrator but also the FHP141 which is a very nice and powerful 140 millimeter fan with a depth of 38 millimeter, which is a lot. We will analyze uh, the thermal performance and also acoustic performance of such units. So in short, this uh, it was just a preview of the cabinet, but uh, we, you will find all the informations about uh, the. Um, Di uh, the dimensional compatibilities with these uh, uh, three PSU that we've shown. You will find the thermal tests of this cabinet and uh, very nice uh, photos. So let us know what you think and uh, if you want some more from the, um, the samples that we've shown uh, just ask us and uh, we will try to fulfill your requests. Thank you and um, we'll see you next time.